Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the fence, the field for the Open Women's 7.5 kilometre scratch race championship of Western Australia. The first rider on the fence there, we have the former junior world champion, Kelsey Robson. Following her, we have the Australian under-19 national road champion, Emily McRedman. Shannon Sherwin moving up into the under-19 ranks is the next rider. She was the bronze medalist in the under-17 national road title. Then we have Alyssa Wondersitz, who is on the national squad, silver medalist at the Junior Worlds this year. She's just come back from the Oceania Games, where she won medals. She's also won medals in the most recent World Cup. We go back through the field then. We have Emma Goodwin from the South Perth Relairs Cycling Club, one of our girls who gets better every single time she gets on the bike, and great to see her in track cycling. Then we have national junior champion in triathlon and on the bike, Alicia Buchanan. Amanda Narby, a winner at the UWCT Championships earlier this year here in Perth. Former world's medalist, Ali Proud in the Wormall Niche Living Gear. Zoe Clayton, and great to see number 34 there, Davina Summers coming back to the track. Number 39, second from the last there, as Adelia Reinecke. And then the Australian Masters Scratch Race Champion, Alison Dyson in the Rotor M Colours rolls out the field. So they get a rolling lap. This is a big, big race for these girls, Matt. 30 laps and only the best WA has to offer on the track at this stage. Some of our juniors have stepped up. Some of our seniors have come back into the field. But, Matty, I tell you what, isn't this uh, field stacked with talent? Number 43 just buried in the middle, Alicia Buchanan uh, coming into the under 19 field in very, very strong position and has been doing some great work on the track as well, Matt. She's uh, coming from a road and triathlon background. Some of the girls now not wanting to do too much on the front and save it all for later. All that matters is who crosses that line first at the end of those 30 laps and we're only six laps into this race at this stage and as I spoke Alicia Buchanan steps up the pace just a little Shannon Sherwin there tries to go with her but the gaps open up straight away so Kelsey Robson also in the mix and doing a big job these girls will have been psyching themselves up for this one for a long long time and trying to work their legs into peak at the exact right time I've got my eye on Maddie. Is Alison Dyson in this field? And there's a little surprise. Chloe Zayton just pulls up. And uh, Alison Dyson just went with her, but that's let a little gap open at the front, which is quite a surprise. The gap opens, but look at the girl who's turning the pace on. Kelsey Robson has gone through for a normal turn and suddenly she's 50 metres in front of the bike race. This is the last girl in bike racing history that you want to give 50 metres to. This is the former Junior World Pursuit Champion. She's in the Australian squad. She's seen the pressure come from the behind. And as Emily Redman, the National Junior Road Champion, leads through, Shannon Sherwin, under 17, technically now moving up into the under 19 ranks. She was third in the national road title. The Wonder Sits and Kelsey Robson have just returned from the Oceana Games where they rode with the likes of Nettie Edmondson and Rebecca Wysak as part of the elite women's team's pursuit squad. So as far as quality goes, it is going away and is going away fast. I tell you, you can see how fast this is going. Shannon Sherwin just getting stretched a little off the back of that. But we've got three elite girls on the front of this field driving it hard. When you see the likes of these girls on the front with a little bit of air in their face and they know they've got a gap, that's inspiring for them. So one or two of the girls, your girls getting together and chasing the best they can. But Shannon Sherwin, you see how she's laying off. She's having a look over the shoulder. If she can hang on to the back wheels here and look after herself, she is the only under 19 in the move. They go through with 15 laps to go. I think she's trying to save the legs a little bit, but Shannon Sherwin needs to get a little bit closer onto the wheels. Look at the pace of Alyssa Wondersitz. This is the difference. Alyssa Wondersitz and Kelsey Robson, these two girls in the national elite squad at the moment. They're putting the national road champion into bother. Shannon Sherwin riding a good pace, trying to stay clear of the next girl on the track, and that's Alicia Buchanan. Shannon Sherwin now has to fight on on her own. Ali Proud, Alicia Buchanan, about half a lap down as Robson Wondersitz, Mick Redmond come into the home straight, and the lap is going to go on the main field. 
I tell you what, the pace that Alyssa Wondersich has been setting at the front of this field is absolutely insane. And we can see Robson's just slowed it down ever so slightly. That's given McRedman a little whiff that she can get back on. I tell you, that pace can't be sustained without hurting your legs. Have a look at Shannon Sherwin, still fourth place on the track. This field has been absolutely blown apart. And we've got Wondersitz and Robson now. Wondersitz just deciding to go on with it. Robson still just sitting in the field. Alyssa Wondersitz going alone and has established a little break. Robson may have been caught a little asleep just having a rest in the rest of that bunch. So Alyssa Wondersitz isn't content to change the pace of this bike race. She doesn't want to go back to the bunch. She doesn't want anyone catching their breath. Robson has a cheeky look at her as she looks up the track at her and says, what are you attacking me for? They go through 10 laps to go. They're going to now take the lap over Alicia Buchanan, Ali Proud. The girl just coming into the home straight is the leader on the road, or on the track rather, in the under 19 division. That's Shannon Sherwin. However, she is trying to hold off the girl coming into the home straight now, Alicia Buchanan. Big opportunity here for Buchanan and Proud to catch the wheels of Robson and Wondersitz as they go by. That might change things in the under 19 race as Davina Summers leads the rest of the group. Third placer on the track at the moment is Emily Remembered. She's with that group and look at the pace difference now. Shannon Sherwin needs to swing up and save the legs a little bit. She's gonna have to get the wheel of Alicia Buchanan because that is the race within the race. Proud now has found a leg. She's quite happy to do a turn. The two leaders of the bike race are Robson down the back straight, then Wonder sits. Then we have the two leaders of the bike race in the under 19 division. That is Alicia Buchanan and Shannon Sherwin. Sherwin went with the move of the bike race. He's been dropped from that move and now the two under 19s are going to fight it out. They go through with seven laps to go. I tell you what, that was a very smart move from Alicia Buchanan. She looked at those girls coming past, she locked onto the wheels and that has pulled her right back into this race as the three leaders on the road just swing up the track and try to recover. This has been an incredible pace right from the get-go. The fight from Zoe Clayton though. Zoe Clayton trying to get back across. She's got Emily McRedman for company to give her a turn. Zoe Clayton, once again, is an under-19 rider. She wants to get back in this bike race. She knows she can win a medal. She doesn't want it to be bronze because that's only third. She wants to get back up there with the likes of Buchanan and Sherwin. And she's done that good riding there from McRedmond and Clayton to get together and drag it all back together. So some riders in this field are a lap down. The ones that aren't, though, Alicia Wondersitz and Kelsey Robson, Emily McRedmond, they are all on the same lap and they're all together. In the under-19 field, we have got Buchanan and Shannon Sherwin, then Zoe Clayton. The girls come round this time, only four laps to go as the pace is being started by one or two riders who are a lap down. Davina Summer says, I'm still in the bike race and I'm going to race it. Looking down the field, where we want to be looking is where the arbitrage jerseys start. That's Alyssa Wondersich. Ali Proud on her wheel, then Buchanan, McRedman, Shannon Sherwin, Kelsey Robson's finding herself quite a way away from Alyssa Wondersit's wheel at the moment. They go through with three laps to go. A nice strong performance here from Davina Summers. It'll probably be the first race on the track that Davina Summers has had in about three or four years. She's a lap down, but she's finishing off this bike race strongly. They come into the home straight this time. Amanda Narby, Zoe Clayton, Alison Dyson, Wondersitz having a look over the shoulder. She wants to know where McRedmond and Kelsey Robson are. McRedmond looms up near her teammate in the arbitrage colours. The national junior scratch race champion, Alyssa Wondersitz, now steps out. Ali Proud goes up onto the wheel. Good riding here from Proud. Then we go back to McRedmond. Look at the fight behind. We've got Kelsey Robson. Shannon Sherwin, number 42, trying to go with Robson. Trying to take out the title in the under-19s. Alyssa Wondersitz on the front. She's very strong. She's going to come into the home straight. Alyssa Wondersitz will take out the title. McRedmond and Robson will take the minor placings to the line. It's going to be very close between Shannon Sherwin and Alicia Buchanan. Maybe Sherwin on the inside, but we'll wait for the judges. But what a finish to that bike race, Tony. That was absolutely incredible, especially when you consider that some of those girls were lapped down and trying to unlap themselves as that race unfolded. But put your hands together for these girls. That was a fantastic race.